Hi, Brandon. Hello, how are you? What's your name? Uh, my name is Shiva Krishna. You can call me Shiva. Shiva, ah, that's cool. Yeah. Nice one. Great to meet you. And uh, where are you from? Uh, I'm from India. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. Living in India now still? Yeah, I'm living in India now. Nice one. And uh, is this like uh, your first time on Cambly? Yeah, this is my <coughs> first, uh, first time. Oh wow, cool man! And uh, so, so did you did you join, or is this like free trial call? Oh, I joined. Mm, nice yeah, one, man. monthly. Yeah, nice. And and uh, so, so what do you do, Shiva? Are you a student now, like in college or uh, or working? Uh, I'm an IT professional. Oh so wow! That means I'm working. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. Cool. And. Uh, and I guess, what is your motivation for joining Cambly? Yeah, actually, I'm preparing for IELTS. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I so, see. Uh, yeah, and it, yeah. is that to like further your career, or maybe get some opportunity abroad, or what reason? Yeah, yeah. I wanna move to Canada. Oh, cool. Nice. Maybe, uh, maybe in a couple of years. Yeah, yeah. nice one, man. Canada is very yeah, yeah. popular these days. A lot of people are considering Canada or America or Australia, yeah. but I think Canada, yeah, seems like very welcoming. Like, yeah, they, um, yeah. yeah, I think uh, yeah, yeah. Canada has a good immigration. Yeah, system. and apparently the people so, are very friendly. Uh, like, yeah. maybe more friendly yeah. than Americans or something. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Oh yeah, cool. So, so, so tell me about like what you know so far about IELTS. Like, how much preparation have you done, and, and what's your understanding of like the the exam format and things? Yeah, I, I recently I recently took a IELTS exam. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, and uh, I scored like a six point five okay. in speaking. Yeah. So, but uh, for Canada PR, you need at least seven okay. in speaking, mm, which is. So I wanna just need a bit more uh, speaking. Yeah, uh, seven yeah. Or above. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. See, I can see you. You have good English, and six point five is still quite a good score. You know, some people would love six point five, and they struggle for five or five point five. But yeah, yeah, seven is. I guess Canada is being quite strict. You know, they they ask for a good score for for their PR requirements. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Uh, well, I'm happy to help you with that. Yeah, I, I have good experience with uh, IELTS preparation. Um, my method is pretty simple, you know, I guess because this is a speaking app. So um, I, yeah. I'm usually just asking asking questions, like realistic kind of practice questions that you could um, receive in, in the exam and then just review your answers, yeah? So that's the, that's the way that I can benefit you, I think, is by... Um, listening to you and and giving you some little tips about the way you can maybe just improve a bit to get your score from like 6.5 to 7 or 7.5 maybe yeah 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 yeah. So, yeah 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 i'm i'm looking forward to your feedback yeah yeah sure yeah. so um yeah well if if you don't have any more like if you don't have any questions or anything from me like um i'm happy to just Get straight into it if you like, and and, and um, start some practice questions. Yeah, yeah? sure, cool, go ahead. cool. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll start with like part one type. Okay. Yeah. All right. So um, uh, I'm gonna ask you some questions just about like social networking. Okay, uh, Shiva. Okay. Mm. So okay. how often do you use social networking applications? <coughs> uh, I usually use a uh, weekly ones. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'll give you immediate feedback um, in now because I feel it necessary. So um, you need to say a bit more than that, yeah? So, um, yeah. and also your grammar was a little incorrect because you say, I, I usually use it like once per week, not weekly once, yeah? So I usually okay. use it about once per week um, or, um, yeah, about once a week. Um, but you also should expand a little bit more than that. So, uh, yeah, I usually use um, social networking applications about once per week and then a way to expand could be like uh, just to say maybe which one. So say, 
Um, you know, personally, uh, uh, um, my favorite is uh, Instagram. I, I find it the most uh, useful and enjoyable or something like that. And, and that is an example of pretty much a good length answer for part one, yeah? But it uh, needs to be a little bit longer than just I use it once per week, yeah? Because they're not going to think yeah. that you're, you're giving um, a, a great effort with just that short. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, yeah. sure, sure. Um, sure. Uh, all right, next question. Um, why do you use social networking apps? <coughs> uh, I usually use uh, social media for uh, catching up with uh, friends and... Uh, I also use it for uh, uh, getting news mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes I, I play uh, video game, video games on Facebook yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and I also use it for to watch videos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So that's good. Yeah. Um, but when you're listing multiple things like that, maybe just try and like, um, like, like, make it flow all together so rather than saying oh um sometimes i use it for this and sometimes i use it for that and sometimes i use it for this you need to try and like make it all form one like um uh one good structure so uh and that just means like listening them uh so uh yeah i usually um use so social networking for uh applications such as like um uh connecting with friends uh Staying in touch with, um, you know, the latest news and even just playing some games for light entertainment or something, you know. So just like you, you, in a list form rather than just saying like, like I use it for this, I use it for that, I, you know, I just mm -hmm. connect it all better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But otherwise, like your, um, you know, your, uh, your reasons were good, yeah. Your, your, your idea was good, just like connected a bit better with the use of English. Um, mm -hmm. What are the disadvantages of social networking apps? Yeah, that's a good question. There are many disadvantages with the social networking apps because, uh, because of uh, constant notifications we get from uh, mobiles, from social media applications. Or we might get distracted from what is important at that moment, like uh, your work or your family <coughs> or your friends. Mm. So social media, I think, sometimes uh, gets you distracted from your important things. Yeah. And also, it also consumes a lot of your time. Mm. So... It, I think it is better to use your time more efficiently, and also uh, you. Some people get scammed uh, due to social media accounts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, Shiva. So that was good, but it, it's like if anything, that was maybe a little bit too long. Yeah. So like I think too now long. since your first answer, you like took my advice, but maybe now just a little bit too long then yeah um yeah so i guess maybe maybe say part three or something like that is is the time to to talk for a little bit longer and give more uh reasons and and justify your opinion and things but part one should just be sort of like kind of simple answers so you can just list a range of disadvantages without like going into too much detail so um you know you can sort of just say oh well in in my mind there are um uh, quite a few uh disadvantages um uh, unfortunately uh with the social networking apps you know um uh firstly uh uh you know you've got the uh the the issue of time wasting you know uh we're all a little bit addicted to to um you know looking at these apps on our phones and then um you know secondly uh 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 what was your other reason um uh, uh secondly yeah there there are unfortunately like ways to be conned on on online and on social ne social networking apps and uh and and yeah uh, i think we are being 
like distracted from like more important things in life, like friends, family, study, work, just something like, just like, I, I think, I didn't really give the most perfect answer then myself, but I'm just sort of trying to, um, yeah, help you understand a way to just kind of like, um, like list things, but don't go into too much detail because um, you could talk for a little bit too long, maybe on part one. Uh, yeah, so okay. it's like finding yeah. a balance because like <coughs> your, fir your first answer was just like, how often do you use social networking applications? Oh, once per week. But then this answer was probably a little bit too long, just a bit. Yeah. So um just have to try and find the right area in the middle. <laughs> I find middle ground. Middle ground, that's right. Yeah. 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 So uh do you think it's good to make friends online? So it's a tricky question. I think uh <clears throat> I, I don't think, yeah, actually, I think it's a, there's no right or wrong answer for this one. Maybe sometimes uh, if you, it depends upon your circumstances. Like uh, if people are like, uh, uh, they don't have any other option, I think then it's good to meet people online. Otherwise, if you have option to meet people uh, directly through friends, I think I recommend uh, through mutual friends. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's uh, good to meet with. Uh, if there is no option, I think online is the better option. Yeah. So, also there is there is like uh, uh, you could uh, in online it's like uh, we cannot uh, verify the profiles of the people, so. You don't know whom whom you are speaking with. Maybe uh, they they took they like. You know. Okay, Azure, I'm lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's right. So one shiva. No, that's all right. Like I yeah. can see you're trying like really hard. But one piece of advice I'll give is sometimes like um, don't try too hard. You know, because then you then you can sometimes talk for too long and that's when you get lost. Um, so actually it's like um, sometimes the best advice is to like keep it simple. Like, you know, we, uh, um, we have, there's, a, there's, a, there's a, uh, a principle like that is used in a lot of business and things worldwide that's like KISS, the KISS principle, keep it short and simple, yeah? Okay. K-I-S-S, yeah. -S -S, keep it short and simple. Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. Or keep it oh. simple, stupid. Sometimes some people say as a joke. Um, okay. uh, but yeah, so uh, because the more you try and like, oh, I've got to keep talking for longer. Oh, I need to. That's when your mind is just working over and you lose your structure. Uh, you're thinking as you're speaking and there's, there's no way that you can kind of keep that going without making some kind of mistake. Yeah. And maybe repeating okay. yourself a bit, like I heard you repeat yourself in that answer. <coughs> so the way you started was good. Like, um, you know, oh, there is no right or wrong answer to this, you know, you could, and then you can sort of use a common technique, like where we like maybe use a conjunction to compare. So you could say like, on one hand, um, uh, you know, it is a good way for some people to connect with others who, who, who uh, who don't have a, a great social life uh, otherwise, and and don't have the opportunity. But but um, on the other hand, or or you know, on the contrary, um, there are also concerns with meeting um, people online just due to uh, uh, you know the unknown nature of, of of online activity and people being like um, dishonest and things like that. So just keep it like short and simple, kind of just like an opening, an opening statement, like, you know, which is good. Some expression like, Oh, that's a, that's a tricky question or, um, or there is no right or wrong answer. And then just kind of, then you can say like both kind of stances or both opinions. Yeah. So, um, you know, on one hand it like, it is the way we connect in the modern world. So it's a way to make friends. But on the other hand, you need to be really careful because there are online security and safety issues or something, you know, very simple. Yeah. 
So, oh. so keep it simple and just use good English. Mm. Okay. Mm. Thanks. Thanks. Thank, thank you.